everyone, welcome back to Daisy Dolls. In today's Quick Craft Friday, I am going to show you how to make this model horse saddle pad. But that's not all. My good friend Blue Heart Stables is also doing a tutorial, so go watch that video after too. Okay, let's get on with the crafting. The materials you'll need are... So I'm starting off with a thin piece of fabric in the color of your choice. Then I use a saddle pad and I trace around it. But if you don't have one, here are the measurements that I use. Now I'm going to fold it over and pin it in place. Now I'm going to cut it out and leaving just like a centimeter around the whole thing. I didn't do this, but it was definitely a mistake. Now I'm going to use some thin packing material. I actually found this uh, inside an old phone case. Then I'm going to put it in between the two saddle pad shapes, pin it in place, and then roughly cut it out. If you can't find this kind of packing material, uh, you can also use like pillow stuffing or felt that could work. So now I use my sewing machine to sew lines going across to make a waffle pattern. My first attempt didn't really go that well, but I got better. So now it's almost done. It's looking very nice and pretty. I'm just going to cut off some excess threads and I'm also going to wash it because there were some pencil lines on it. Now that it's dry, I'm also going to line it with some embroidery thread. And as always, I'm using a flexible fabric glue to glue it on. Then you can decorate it with ribbons or logos or anything else, but I decided to leave it plain. And here's a little bonus craft. Trace this kind of shape onto um, a piece of felt that is the length of your saddle. Then apply some sheepskin to the top and bottom of it. This will make a very simple half pad. So that was all for this video. I hope you found it enjoyable and understandable. Also, please go check out Blue Heart Stable's video. She made this very adorable bareback pad and it is so well made and so cute. And I really recommend going and checking out that tutorial. The link will be in the description down below. So yeah, leave suggestions for future Quick Craft Fridays if you have any ideas, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!